Welcome to Byte Further. Today's video is about what to do when your iPhone says iPhone unavailable message. Some Apple users complain that they get iPhone unavailable message on lock screen after updating to iOS 15.2, 15.3, or later. What they see is a black screen saying iPhone unavailable or security lockout, along with try again in 1, 5, 15, or 60 minutes. So, what's iPhone unavailable meaning, what causes that, and how to fix the unavailable iPhone without a passcode? Keep watching, and you'll find the answers. Okay, when your lock screen is saying iPhone unavailable, it means that the device is locked by a passcode you set before. The reason why your iPhone says unavailable or security lockout might be that you forgot the passcode and enter the incorrect passcode more than five times in a row. It's also possible that your daughter or someone else guesses the lock passcode mistakenly, making it unavailable without informing you. Now, let me show you what to do when iPhone says unavailable. If your iPhone hasn't updated to iOS 15.2 or later iOS version, you'll see iPhone is disabled message instead of showing up the unavailable screen. If this is your case, you can directly jump to method 2 to fix it up and unlock the phone. Alright, the first solution is to use Erase iPhone button to unlock unavailable screen on your iPhone. When you keep entering the wrong passcode 5 times in a row, you'll see an iPhone unavailable. Try again in 1 minute message. In the 6th wrong passcode entry, your iPhone will say iPhone unavailable. Try again in 5 minutes message. When you guess the lock passcode incorrectly 7 times, iPhone unavailable. Try again in 15 minutes screen will appear, along with an erase iPhone button at the bottom right corner. It's set by Apple for allowing users to fix unavailable iPhone when they can't remember the passcode. It's so nice, but there are some requirements to use that. First, your iPhone is running iOS 15.2 or a newer iOS version. Second, the device is connected to a cellular or a Wi-Fi network. Third, Apple ID password is needed so make sure you remember that. Now, I'll show you how to get past iPhone unavailable issue with the Erase iPhone button. Tap Erase iPhone button. It'll prompt you that your iPhone is in security lockout. You can either wait several minutes and try entering the passcode again to unlock the phone, or erase the device content and completely reset it. If you do forget the passcode, tap Erase iPhone option again from the bottom right corner to continue. Here, type in your Apple ID password to sign out of your Apple ID account. Then, it'll take a while to clear all the content and settings and bring your iPhone that's unavailable to factory settings. Once done, you'll see the hello screen. Just swipe up the screen, and follow the on-screen instructions to set up your iPhone. If you have a backup in iCloud or iTunes, you can restore the data in the apps and data screen. Keep finishing the steps and your iPhone is available now. What if the erase iPhone option is not working? Or your iPhone says iPhone unavailable but doesn't pop up erase iPhone button on the lock screen? Then, the second solution is to unlock it via recovery mode. This fix also can unlock your iPhone when it says disabled. In recovery mode, iTunes or Finder can easily detect your iPhone that gets unavailable. Therefore, you can use iTunes or Finder to bypass the iPhone unavailable screen by restoring it. Okay, first, open iTunes or Finder on your computer, and then connect your unavailable iPhone to the computer. Then, put your iPhone into recovery mode. The steps vary in different iPhone models. In iPhone 6S or earlier, press and hold down both the side button and the home button together until you see the recovery mode screen. In iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus, press and hold down both the side button and the volume down button together until you see the recovery mode screen. In iPhone 8, X, XR, 11, 12, 13, or newer, press then release volume up button. Press then release the volume down button. Then, keep holding the side button until you see the recovery mode screen. Once you successfully put your unavailable iPhone into recovery mode, go to iTunes or Finder. You should see a dialog box showing up, saying there is a problem with your iPhone and asking you to update or restore your iPhone. The update won't work here. So choose Restore. Then, click Restore and Update button. Next, iTunes or Finder will download the latest version of iOS on your iPhone to remove the unavailable message. It might take 3 to 4 hours to complete, so please wait patiently. You'll see an Apple logo shows up with a progress bar under it. Once done, your iPhone will restart to the Hello screen and goes back to normal. If you've turned on Find My option and there's an internet connection on your iPhone that's unavailable, 
The third solution is to unlock the device by erasing the data using iCloud. First, open any browser and go to iCloud.com. Enter your Apple ID account and password to sign in. Once logged in, click Find iPhone. From the top of the opening page, choose All Devices. From there, select the device that gets stuck on iPhone unavailable screen. Then, choose Erase iPhone option. It'll ask you if you need to erase this iPhone as this step will wipe clean all the content and settings. Just click Erase option to trigger the erase process. Wait for a few minutes, and it'll then get your iPhone out of the unavailable screen. When your iPhone goes back to the Hello screen, set it up from scratch, and remember to set a lock passcode that's easy to remember. That's all how to fix iPhone unavailable or security lockout screen on any iPhone. To avoid suffering the iPhone unavailable issue again, write your passcode down on a notebook or enable the Face ID feature if it's available. Hope this video can help unlock your unavailable iPhone successfully. If it does, please give it a thumbs up and share it via Facebook, Twitter, and so on to help others in need. Also, if you have any further questions, feel free to write them down in the comments below and I'll reply ASAP. To learn more tech tips about iPhones, subscribe to the Byte Further channel. Now, you can click another video on the screen to keep watching.